on how to make your own wash powder. I've had a few people on Facebook asking me how I do it, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so I'm making my own wash powder for several reasons. One, um, to hopefully be more envi environmentally friendly by keeping packages and not having lots and lots of plastic in the house. Two, um, to see if it's any better than shop bought. And three, to see if I can save money on buying um, household cleaners and toiletries. I've got several other projects on the go as well. So how do we make it and what do we need? So we're going to need container free wash powder. I've just run out of my first batch, which I must say has worked absolutely brilliantly. Um, my clothes, our clothes smell fresh, clean, and they're keeping the fragrance in the um, wardrobes as well now they've been put away. So container with lid. Um, just a spatula to give it a stir in case you've got sensitive hands. If you have got sensitive skin, I recommend that you wear latex gloves. My hands are okay, so I, I just get away with a spatula. You're going to need a grater. I use the big size. Now you're going to need a one cup measurer and a half cup measurer to measure out your powders. Then we're going to need the, the items to make the actual wash powder. So you're going to need a 500 gram box of Borax Substitute, which equates to two cups or 500 mils. You're going to need around about 400 grams of soda crystals, some vanish or some you know laundry soap. I've used, also used a bit of hand soap and some bicarbonate of soda. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-grated my soap to save some time. So I've used a third of a bar of just lemon, plain lemon scented soap. I got four of these for £1.20, so it was like 30 pence for the bar, so you're talking 10 pence for a sliver there. Then I got the Vanish soap for a pound. I've used like a quarter of that, so that's like 25p. The Borax, when I first did my first batch, I bought one box of it, and it was actually £3.97 from Amazon. But this time, because I'm making quite a lot of stuff with Borax now, um, I bought six boxes for £9.86, so I've saved quite a bit of money on them now. Um, bicarbonate of soda, I bought a big kilo pack the other day and just put it into another container that I've saved to recycle. And then I got these from, I got these originally off the soda crystals from Amazon. And they were something like three and a half pounds, say £3.50. And then I went into Tesco's the following day and found these for a pound. So, you know, do your research if, you want to, if you're really looking to be frugal. Um, so... Right, let's go ahead and make up the powder. So as I said, I've got a third of a bar of the yellow hand soap, just because it's got a nice lemony scent, and it's also got, um, sorry, and it's also got the vanish in here. Then I've got 100 grams or 100 mils of bicarbonate of soda, which is roughly a half cup filled up three quarters of the way. So three quarters of a half cup for that one. Then I've got my bicarbonate of soda. Which I have got one and three quarter cups full. And then I've got my borax, which I've used. Sorry, that's, that's the bicarb. Sorry, my mistake, They're both white. So that's the bicarb and that's the borax. The borax I've used a full box, which is 500 grams, which filled this twice of a full cup. So it's like 250 mils per cup. So it's got 500 mils in there. And then I've done a cup and three quarters of a cup of wash soda and soda crystals. Right, so this is, this is just as easy as we make it. So I'm going to tip in the borax first. Then the bicarbonate of soda. Sorry, the soda crystals, then the bicarb. Put them to the side. As well as them. Then I'll get my soap that I've pre-grated. And I'm going to mix that into there. So what I'm going to now is just give it a good old stir to combine it all. There's one thing as well that I've not got out at the moment, which we're going to add, and that's going to be some essential oils. Now, I don't use too much of the essential oils like I did originally. I put too much in and I started getting up and I got a couple of like um, oil stains on some of the clothes. 
So literally you just need the tiniest, tiniest amount, like one, two, three drops. I'd probably say two to three maximum. Right, so combined all that together. They can see it in there. All nicely combined. All the soap and everything in there. Let me get my essential oils. So here's a little box of Anju essential oils that I've actually got. Um, if you see my Facebook page, you'll already know that I'm starting to infuse my own oils. I know it's not going to be essential oils, but it's going to save a fortune because these are so expensive. So I'm going to have a couple of drops of lavender because lavender is um, antibacterial as well, so it'll help with any buildup in the wash. So a couple of drops of that. And I think I have some rosemary. It's a Yalang Yang. I've used that one up, so I love Yalang Yang. Sweet orange. I should have got these out before I started. Where's the rosemary? Here it is. And then three drops of rosemary. One, two, three. There we go. So give that another stir. Like so. Pop on your lid. And you're done. And also, if you want to give it a good old shake up in the box, you can. So that's how easy it is to make my wash powder. Hope you enjoyed this video. I have got a lot of other projects that I'm on with, homemade projects that I'm on with myself at the moment, like homemade um, tumble dryer sheets, and my own wash, washing up liquid, cleaners and everything. So if you want me to show you some more videos of how I'm making other things, please comment below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and to see my other videos, please subscribe.